guys back with another video today so today's topic is going to be a little different we're going to be talking about boot shining in the navy now this is something i take with a little bit of pride because i love shining my boots this is something you learn back at basic boot camp and you can carry on with the rest of your career you're going to see a lot of people in the navy that don't really shine their boots anymore or think that it's still like oh you're still at boot camp and you're still doing it no i like it because it gives that little extra look and crisp to your uniform which you should already be on point with but this is something that is something that i'm very very good at and today i'm going to give you guys my little tricks and skills on how to how to make your boots look the best out of everyone else's so stay tuned let's get right into it. on the go. list is the materials you need the proper materials to have a good shoe shine now i've been using these materials for about a year and two months the only thing that i added to my little lineup was the lighter but the materials you're gonna need are is a basic lighter just something simple nothing crazy jumbo cotton balls i personally use jumbo because i have bigger hands so it's a little bit easier for me to squeeze them you can use the regular smaller ones it doesn't really matter and the kiwi shoe shine kit now only thing i use in this kit is the hairbrush and the actual polish and you guys are going to see why i don't really like using the rags that are inside of this because that's why you have the cotton balls so let's get right into it i'm going to show you guys how to do this let's go boots and uh, I haven't shined these in about a week. And the reason I did this was for the purpose for this video so I could show you how if you give yourself just a little bit of time, you can make your boots look really, really well. Uh, I know they don't probably look too bad to a lot of people that don't shine at all. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna make these look really, really good. So the first process that you're gonna do is you're gonna unlace your boots. You're gonna take them all out because we're gonna do a real deep clean on the boots. I'm probably gonna end up just speeding this part up so you guys can, uh, you guys don't have to sit through this whole boring long process of me doing these boots So now that they're unlaced, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your brush and you're gonna knock all the dirt and debris off the boots. Uh, just depends on how much effort you wanna put into this. You could do a quick one, or me, I'm gonna go in depth and I'm gonna actually you know, scrub everything off, especially since you know I work on the flight line. So when the jets are going off, I get a lot of dirt in between the little nicks and crannies of the boots. So it's really good to do this. I would tell you to probably do a deep clean on your boots like this maybe like once every like two weeks maybe you don't have to always do this you know it's more about just shining the actual boot but getting all the dirt out if you want to really really give that extra step of detail you can do that so now that that's done and i knocked off what i can really see we're going to get into the polishing so now that we're going to get into the polishing you're going to grab a couple of your supplies you're going to grab your kiwi shoe shine you're going to grab a couple of cotton balls i usually grab about four just for you know two for each boot uh, and the big thing i actually forgot was water you need a little bit of water to put in the cap just to kind of give it that little shine at the end towards it so you know i open it up water pour a little bit in grab one cotton ball now what i do is i kind of just go in a little circle and i kind of squeeze them up make it like puff out a little bit and i do the three finger grab so i kind of grab it like this i dip a little bit in the water not too much you don't want to put too much water on the cotton ball because you don't want to over soak it and you're going to get your hand you're going to palm it you're going to go like this this is something actually my rdc told me and you kind of want to give it like that little flat surface just like kind of how that is and what you're going to do because the cotton ball already has some moisture on it you're going to grab your you're gonna grab your polish and you don't have to do a lot of polish i think i see a lot of people just go crazy with it you really just need like one or two swoops over so you're gonna go you're gonna go like that and then you're gonna go one more time just like that so that looks a little messy but that's really all you need you don't need much uh, we're gonna start probably on the left boot let's do the left boot first so 
for the process it's the same just like how it was like i told you you guys are going to go in a circle of motion you're going to keep going and going and going and going and going and do not stop and you know sometimes you may over polish sometimes you may under polish just depends on exactly how much you're putting so for me i kind of put a little bit too much on this boot but we're just going to keep going with it probably going to speed this up for you guys so you guys don't have to watch me just keep going in circles but you're going to go in small circular motions like this until you start seeing a little bit of result in your boot so yeah keep going. moments later all right so if you sat through most of this and watched me do this then you seen me speed this up but this process is it's quick i know my boots well enough where i know how much polish i really need to put on and like exactly how how long i need to just keep going in circles before uh i'm good on one boot and because these boots have been polished before there's already a couple layers of polish on this boot so it makes it a little bit easier just to get that shine that you're looking for that most people wouldn't usually get on a brand new pair of boots so you know as you just keep going in your little circles and you continue to keep doing this uh you're gonna end up looking and whenever you feel comfortable with like a, a good polish or like a good showing and you say all right well that's pretty well i can kind of see like a little bit of my reflection in this what i like to do is like i said uh, a lot of people are going to recommend don't do this but i do this to my boots just because i think it just makes it a little easier especially if you want to put a couple layers on your boot is fire shining well shining fire shining now that's why it's so important to have the lighter because uh you want to get somewhat close to the boot but not close super super close because you can kind of actually mess up the boot so you're going to throw the one that you use to the side kind of make sure you clean off your little table where's the brush all right there we go clean that off Better push all the dirt and stuff off now what I suggest is to be very, very careful with this because you really don't want to mess these boots up. And basically fire shining is what it's doing is it's melting the wax into the pores of the actual boot. So it dries up faster and you can kind of put up more layers or it just really gives it that little gloss at the end. So what I do is I kind of grab the boot like this, I flip it backwards and I put the lighter up and I put it, I want to say maybe like two inches or so away from the actual toe of the boot. So you're gonna go, you're gonna go here, you're gonna run it over, and run over all the spots that you kind of waxed, well shined. There you go, and that should be enough. Now, first thing you wanna do right after that is grab another cotton ball. It's gonna smell a little funky, but you're gonna grab another cotton ball, you're gonna like squish it again. You're gonna get as much water as you can on this one, and like this, you're basically just gonna hit the boot. So just kind of giving it a little bit of moisture. Now slowly but surely you'll be able to start seeing 
the actual ring light through the boot and you can just see how it shines. And I realize these boots aren't gonna be the best in the world just for the sense of like, these are work boots, these have been torn up, but if you have another brand new pair of boots or you get a new pair of boots, I would suggest to have one pair as like an actual work boot and still shine them, still shine them as much as you can. And then also make like one pair as a reward boot. And I just kind of just blow all the excess water off. Just kind of gives it that little finish. Yeah, that's, that's one boot. Now, you can polish the rest of the boot, which I would suggest to do a newer pair of boots. But with me, with having all of these little like, you know, marks on them and rips and stuff on them it's not going to be the best so i'm not even going to attempt that for you guys but i'm going to show you guys how to do the toe box most of the people in the navy we only do the toe box anyway um so that's one boot now what i was talking about when i said the reward boots is i have a brand new pair of boots right here that i haven't even worn and these are you, you can like you can you know these are boots these are crystal and i haven't even put in the water and i haven't polished these in a while so i haven't even worn these boots these are newer boots and see how I said, like, you can kind of shine the sides, which I've been trying to touch up. So these, I'm still working on. These are a project. These are a project. <laughs> but uh, that's one boot. So you're going to repeat the process for the other boot. And it's going to be the same thing. So let's go and do the other boot. More moments later. Like, look at that. That's like water. This shit is busting respectfully. Yes, sir. You literally see the ring light perfectly in it. So, obviously, this method for me works. Uh, and as you continue to do this more and more throughout time, you're going to get really good at it and you're going to enjoy it because you're going to get some compliments on your boots. And then, you know, certain people, higher ups, may notice. And I don't know if you guys are in the Navy to just be in the Navy, but I prefer to be in the Navy and at least try my hardest to do as good as I can. So, you know, call me a try hard call or whatever you want, but I like to have that pristine look at all times, especially, you know, when it comes to my boots, because this is a part of your uniform that they, they like to look at. This is the first thing, you know, that a lot of people, they look at because it's sort of the same method for when it comes to the tongue. Like I like to touch the tongue because I know the laces uh, are covering it anyway, but sometimes you can actually see the polish under the laces, which is a good little touch. So a little dip, just like before, a little bit of polish. Now this, you don't have to do a circular motion just for the sense of, because there's a lot more area that you are covering. So you kind of just opened up like that and you just. But I don't, you just go back and forth if you want. Um, I, don't, I don't really use circular motion for this because it gets messy and it gets covered up anyway, you feel like there's a bunch of marks from the lace being there for a long period of time anyway, so it's not, it's not really needed to go above and beyond on this portion of the boot. So, definitely just want to shout out everyone on my, uh, you know, in my division that definitely has some good looking boots. And, you know, appreciate my RDC for teaching me some of these methods that I can kind of teach you guys, but I've also put my little, you know, twist on it throughout the year I've been in. And, uh, I always, I always definitely try to keep my boots as pristine as I can. It's, I understand they're work boots and they're going to get messy, which is okay, but, you know, try to keep a little bit of a sense of urgency to make these as decent as possible as you can. Because, you know, just like little details like that, like, yeah, I didn't do much, but, you know, little details like that is what, what makes a really big difference for at least me. You know, some, some other people definitely, so, you know, really, you just thought it's just a lot of dirt and crust and stuff, like, coming out. Yeah, man, this is, this is something that I enjoy doing. Like, a lot of people call me crazy because they're like, you still shine your boots. I love it. Like, I think it's, I think it's actually relaxing, <laughs> to be honest. You get used to doing it so much that it just doesn't really phase you anymore. So. So. Touch all that up. So, yeah. All right. So, that's just a little detail that you do. It just makes it a little shinier. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, oh, I don't really see the difference. But if you, you kind of look... This one has a lot more like, just like really dried up areas. Seems a little bit more just like cleaned up and just looks better, just looks better. Like I prefer this one. So that's the process for doing the tongue and then doing the toe of the boot. And like I said, I'm not gonna really do the sides cause this boot has been kind of beat up. So that's just like a little deep for these boots. If I was to do my award boots, then you're gonna go a little bit more deeper into the boots. So that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I just wanna say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you guys supporting the channel, showing love. 
I'm trying to post as much as I can, but it's busy being with work and just trying to have a little bit of free time for myself. So, you know, I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy the little boot shine video, you know, for all my military people or even my people that just want to buy a nice pair of boots and shine them. I don't know who wants to do that, but, <laughs> but thank you guys again and stay tuned for the next video. I'm out. Ah.